Steve Serrano here with YouTube's Ask a Real Expert. Vikram asks, is it true you need protein within the 45 minutes after working out or effective protein synthesis won't occur? That's not true. The most important thing you need after an intense workout is simple carbohydrates because we're interested in replacing the used glycogen as quickly as possible. We want to replace that lost muscle sugar after our workout. And we want to kickstart that process by taking in some type of simple sugar after the workout, like Gatorade. And believe it or not, if you're in shape and you're not trying to lose weight and you've worked out intensely, whether that's weightlifting or cardiovascular activity, a simple sugar, even like a Coke or a Pepsi, would be good because what we're interested in doing is replenishing that used glycogen because people who are in shape, who are training hard and who don't have body fat to lose are typically training on a daily basis, day after day, week after week, month after month. So as the days roll by, the glycogen or muscle sugar begins to diminish. You start off Monday with 100% feeling good. Tuesday, mm, you're at about 95%. Wednesday, 90%, and so on and so forth. So you make it through the week feeling okay. Great. The following Monday comes, and you start off at about 85 to 90%. So you run a glycogen deficit in the muscles. So that's why when you're lifting hard, week after week after week, you might have a great week where you feel like Superman. The next week, you feel kind of punky. The following week, you might feel a little bit better. The next week, wow, I feel great. And then you get that week where you just feel like crap again, and you're wondering why it's occurring. So what the most important thing for you to do, if you're training hard, you're training consistently, you're in shape, and you're doing um, it on a regular basis, and you don't have to lose body fat, the most important thing after a workout is replacing that used sugar. And you can do that with Gatorade. Like I said, if I don't have Gatorade, I'll have a small glass of Coke or Pepsi, because I know that tomorrow I'm going to work out hard, and again, after my workout, I want to replace that glycogen. That's the most important thing. And after a workout, your muscles have that two-hour window where they're more receptive to the sugar. So that's where you hear that two-hour window thing, or in your case, 45 minutes. But it's really a two-hour window where your muscles are much more willing to accept sugar. After that, they replace glycogen at a normal rate, which is not that big a deal if you lifted or did cardio, let's say, on Monday, and you didn't do it again until Tuesday, uh, excuse me, Thursday or Friday. Okay, so if you have two or three days off, not that big a deal. But if you're training on a regular basis, hard and intensely, whether it's cardio or whether it's weight training, your body is struggling to replace that glycogen. Okay, so it's not protein that's critical. Protein synthesis happens all day long, 24 hours a day, while you're sleeping. But it's that simple sugar that you need after an intense workout. That's the most important thing, and you have that two-hour glycogen window. I'm Steve Torano. Train hard, train smart.